we're going to design the railgun that produces Mach 7 at the ejection speed. Okay. Now the railgun basically the uh, metal slide over the two conductors, and conductor we need is the radius A on the both side and one side going out and connected and come back the basically current loop then when the current flow the magnetic field is generated and that magnetic field generated is going to produce the force to the metal across and this distance is D okay this force is current and uh, magnetic uh, field and it's integral of the D this D is this distance now this force we take integral over the time is going to give the momentum at the ejection time so the goal is the Mach 7 this speed we have to achieve this speed for the mass M okay so we have a very short period of time to give a, a tremendous force and this is like uh, impact it's called impact equation and that's gonna change the zero momentum to MV okay so this design you need basically at least a, a high school level uh, physics or college level so by at the Savart law here is gonna give you a magnetic field generated by the current okay but this equation is d d the dd is this line segment okay so um this this basic um, law is maxwell ampere's right hand screw law that means the when current going then magnetic field is generated the right hand screw direction now what we do is from this equation the line segment generate magnetic field dv so we have to take a integral from my negative infinity to infinity we assume this little gun is long enough okay so the barrel length is long enough compared with this d barrel length is long enough compared with d we use this approximation so the the basically we have to take according to this equation uh, integral of this and that's gonna be r square is d square plus r square so it's gonna be pi over r so the force generated by this is going to be um, pi disappear and the 1 over r plus d minus r that means suppose the distance is r from center then another distance will be d minus r okay and now coefficient change to 8 can you tell why this 4 change to 8 well you look at the railgun it's not minus infinity to plus infinity we start sliding from here so actually we have to take half of the entire effect okay so this change to 8 and some of our um, 
internet site you can check around and most of them missing this part okay now the force generated is a to t minus a so force is going to be integral from here to here right okay so you take an integral then this is gonna be the force okay now next one is how do you supply this tremendous amount of current i square okay the circuit to be used is basically capacitor you save up a lot of charge in the capacitor and you put the switch on this is the rail gun right and this has a, some resistance here very small use a very good quality copper to reduce otherwise tremendous current go through and resistance is going to generate the heat so to avoid the heat this resistor value should be minimal now another thing is if you know electrical if you are probably an electrical engineering major you know when you turn on this suddenly large current goes which has a problem what it is is this has an inductance some amount of inductance and it's gonna cause voltage spike and that's work as a positive effect to the rail gun because you are pushing the rail guns much faster by voltage spike like when you turn on the voltage go go up then from here go normal attenuation okay this it's okay somewhat but it's go too high it's gonna damage the hardware because switches get damaged and everything around there is gonna have a discharge and damage it so what we do is usually put little damper capacitor here much smaller than this this is large this is small and this damper capacitor is large enough to suppress this spike it's just a transient effect so we can ignore the transient effect by this kind of circuit so the current is provided by the large capacitor basically the circuit diagram become like this large current flowing through from capacitor okay and the equation will be like this and this is the uh, voltage attenuation equation you solve determine a and b then the current is going to be like that okay so basically current from capacitor start from some point v0 something then reduced okay you can't have that kind of a voltage source that keep the voltage constant for this kind of large voltage value and high current so it's inevitable that we have to utilize this portion to propel the bullet now mb equals rho 2 delta t this is the time that the bullet stay on the rail from beginning to ejection time okay so you take integral then the equation become like that now say we prepare two thousand fallad capacitor which is very big sixty thousand dollar probably very big okay we need to find v0 for reasonable delta t that dictate the length of rail guns barrel lengths you don't want to have like a hundred meters barrel it's too long you cannot swing it or change the uh, direction so what happened is assuming the bullet weight is five kilogram this is a physical constant and D is 20 centimeters this is a distance between two uh, conductor conductors are 
the radius is 2 cm and the resistance is only 2 ohms very small because it's pretty big the thick copper we are going to use so it's going to be like this equation has to be this value so if we assume the initial voltage 500 kV we charge up capacitor 2000 fallad capacitor very high voltage 500 kV you can't go beyond that it may start discharging I mean you know you're, you're going to create thunder so thunder is going to be like a 20 million volt you don't want to get too close to that okay so if you calculate that it's going to be like 0.1 second this is the time bullet to stay on the rail the length will be calculated by you can go through this whole thing uh, slowly uh, by stopping the video but you can just finish listening first distance function is the the integral of the voltage uh, the speed from 0 to delta t is x is l this is a barrel distance and you stop approximate uh, approximation uh, the average is say half of the 7 mark 7 then we need 173 meters long rail gun so it cannot do it it's too long that means we have to increase the capacitor we increase to 6000 fallot see how it works then delta t becomes 3.5 millisecond barrel length will 4.2 meter it's become reasonable so looks like it depends on the size of a capacitor is critical okay size of a capacitor you have to make 6,000 fallot you, you have no any idea how big that is going to be 6,000 fallot is going to be like that okay this not you see the helmet the human head is like that human probably kneeling that like that okay that big capacitor you're talking about huge capacitor and that's kind of capacitor we have to use for the railgun and that's why it cannot carry around easily the railgun has to be set somewhere on the ship or big truck and use it and you can do about five meters length uh, barrel length and but you need like a six thousand now next things we have to do is each shot how much energy is spent okay the energy is uh, voltage drop square over capacitor right and we have a uh, charging equipment wattage so certain w watted watt per second we can charge up and so times t time is gonna be the energy so t is gonna be charging capacitor w delta v square c so this is gonna be charging time and if you spend more energy here means 6,000 fallad and the voltage drop say you know from 5,000 kilogram kilovolt to 300 kilovolt to shoot once 200 kilovolt square and divide by capacitor and divide by charging speed w is a wattage is gonna give you second so reasonable time is like somewhere less than 30 second so you can shoot every 30 second okay if you want to be aggressive you have to improve this the charging unit the faster you can charge but this kind of voltage it's not easy to make fast charging it's not like uh, electric car you know electric car is like a 24 volt 
we're talking about 5,000 volt, the charging equipment is going to be quite a challenge to design. But I hope you got this idea about how to make a railgun and uh, this is a good review of your college levels physics. Hope you utilize those knowledge and understand how to design the railgun. Please check other videos. We have more fun stuff. Thank you.